Mullet fishing. Would you believe with this incredibly weird weather, so much rain, wild seas, I took my dogs for a walk down to the beach and it was like mullet NATO. I couldn't believe it. There's all these mullet. All these mullet, they're actually way up on the sand, nowhere near the water, and they're alive and their mouths are going. Look at this. You know, they're amazing bait. I often use mullet fillets for bait, for brim, for snapper, for different things, or malloway. So I thought, man, I turned my rain jacket inside out and tied the um, arms up and then loaded it full of mullet. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fillet and cook these wonderful fish. And I've got some great recipes for you that will be in the download that you can click the link or it'll be in the description as well. And if you haven't already checked it out, have a look at rogersfishing.com, Australia's newest online fishing community. Rogers Fishing is packed with a huge, ever-growing resource of step-by-step -step courses, instructional videos, live question and answer sessions with me, and loads more. Whether you're an absolute beginner or have been fishing for decades, there's something for everybody. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think. In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook mullet several different ways and all of the recipe information will be in a link here and also in the description. Well, now I'm going to jump into filleting all of these mullet. I've got quite a big bunch of mullet, so they're going to take me a little bit of time. But as soon as I've got them filleted, we're going to jump into cooking those amazing fillets and I'll be teaching you the three recipes. Recipe number one is cold smoked mullet, which I'm pretty excited about. So last night I created a brine and I put my mullet fillets in the brine, had them in the brine all night, and now I'm going to rinse them in fresh water, just clean them off and then pat them dry and put them in a rack, ready to go back in the fridge to spend some more time tonight in the fridge so that they form a nice crust on the outside and then we'll be smoking them tomorrow. Seriously, cold smoked, this mullet is excellent. Absolutely delicious. I reckon I'd give it an eight out of 10. I've no doubt hot smoked would be awesome as well. Amazing mullet recipe number two is coconut curried mullet. Sounds really exotic, but it's so super simple and easy to make. I have one cup of plain flour so I'm just going to put that in my bowl. The next thing is I'm going to measure one cup of desiccated coconut. Now obviously you don't have to be exactly perfect with these quantities. So one cup each of plain flour, desiccated coconut. Then I've got some curry powder. I need a tablespoon. Look, I actually like, I don't mind a bit of curry flavour, so I'm thinking I'd, I'd probably prefer to go a little bit over. There you go, I've got my curry powder. And the final ingredient really is just a bit of cracked pepper. Grind some pepper in here. This one's a little bit slow, but the pepper is coming out. So I'm actually going to do this for a minute because I want to make sure I've got plenty of flavor in there. Now I am going to whisk these ingredients together. I'm now going to tip this onto a platter and coat the mullet like so. So I've got my nice mixture there. I'm actually going to cut this mullet. I've done it skin on because I want to cook it skin side first and crisp up the skin side. I'm actually going to cut this into a couple of pieces. Well, I'm just going to cook those four for the demonstration. Now I'm going to lay my mullet on this goodie. Obviously I can cook some more so I'm going to give this mullet a really good roll in this um, coconut mixture. Just, just getting it, obviously it's not going to stick much on the skin side, but that's okay. Flowers, flavours are going to be in there. Just rolling all this fish. I won't waste all of this coconut and flour because I'll cook some more. Now look at these mullet fillets. They've got a nice coating of all these goodies on them. And I'm going to be putting them in the pan skin first. I can hardly wait. Okay, I'm just going to... Ooh, look at that. Mate, that skin is curling up already.
Just going to cook it for three or four minutes on this side to try and crisp up the skin and then I'll do one turn for a minute or so to finish the fish off. I'm satisfied. Oh, look at that. That skin looks epic. It's been about a minute or so since I turned it. The skin looks fantastic, so I'm going to take it out now. Just put it on here. Looking really good. Now, you can serve this with whatever sides you like. You can cook some potato chips, roast some potatoes, make a nice salad. But that's just the fish side of it, and you can uh, enjoy that with your choice of goodies. This crispy skin coconut curried mullet is much better than I expected. This one gets a 9 out of 10. So recipe number three is harissa baked mullet. This also is a, such a simple recipe. You'll see exactly by what I'm doing. Um, so let's get into it. All I'm doing is placing my mullet fillets skin side down into a baking tray. You can see I, all I've done is line this baking tray with some baking paper. I've got my harissa paste. I'm just going to um, load these fillets up with harissa paste. Look at all that flavour. Oh, it smells fantastic. I think a little bit more on this guy and a dash more on that guy there. We are ready to go. So I've got my oven preheated and just going to whack these really good looking fillets in. Uh, they'll only be in there for 12 to 15 minutes, so don't have to wait long and then we'll be tucking in. This harissa baked mullet is flavoursome and delicious. A dob of natural yoghurt would go really well I think. Rating for this one for me is 8 out of 10. So as I mentioned, I've never eaten mullet before and I've cooked it these three ways and I have to say I'm actually blown away. I never really thought that they'd be much good, but incredible. The, the cold smoked mullet I'd have to give that an 8 or 9 out of 10, no problem. The coconut curried mullet was absolutely beautiful, fantastic crispy skin, lovely flesh, not too overpowering. And then the harissa baked mullet, oh, really good. Great flavours with the harissa and certainly served with a lovely salad and some potatoes. It would be epic. So I hope you've enjoyed this cooking video on the Mighty Mullet. Make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe. And if you haven't checked out rogersfishing.com, head on over and have a look. I look forward to seeing you all very soon.